Good morning, besties. Welcome to another brand new beautiful day. I started off my morning with my usual workout. As you guys know, I love to start the day moving my body and feeling good. And working out honestly has really just turned into something extremely fun for me. I no longer look at it as a chore or something I have to do. It's something that I get to do and I honestly just enjoy it and I look forward to it every single day. After my workout, I decided to go on a hot girl walk, which sometimes I don't really do do because I don't know I just I really really love doing strength training workout and hot girl walking is just like an added extra bonus that I like to do but I don't do it every single day but today I was really feeling it I just wanted to keep moving my body and I decided that today I'm going to challenge myself normally as you guys know this is the hill that I come up and I only do it once but today I was feeling like doing a little something extra and challenging myself to come back up here and Normally it really tires me out, but whatever. I'm up for the challenge. I'm feeling good today. Also, a little random fact, but this is something I started doing today. This might not be anything new to anyone else, but I've never really done this because normally when I think about going on my walk, I'm like, okay, I'm going to wear my headphones to keep myself entertained. And so normally I have them on and I think to myself, well, either I have them on and I'm listening to something or I don't take them so that I can be listening to nature. And it just crossed my mind today that I could just literally put them right here, put it on full volume and listen to whatever I want to listen to while being safe and being able to hear my surroundings, which I think is very important when you're going on a walk by yourself. And actually what I was listening to on my hot girl walk was this episode here from On Purpose by Jay Shetty. And I haven't finished it. I think I'm gonna save the other half of it for my next hot girl walk or I'll listen to it later. But so far, like what I've listened to just really hit home. They talk about work-life balance and how to avoid burnout and just basically kind of talk about how we don't really do things in the moment. We're doing something, but we're thinking about something else or we're never just really enjoying the moment for what it is. And I've like talked about that several times before on my channel. And you guys know that I try my hardest to make moments throughout the week where I just kind of show up for myself instead of just taking like a whole day after i already burn out i like to do little things throughout my week to just kind of show up for myself i did, I did it as minuscule as that was as small of a challenge as that was it felt so good today i'm not really focused on the distance normally i try to aim for two miles but today i'm more so focused on the journey and what i did to help myself versus how much I did. Today, I showed up for myself by making myself a very delicious breakfast. I prepared myself a very yummy, yummy, tasty breakfast. I'm excited to dig in. I made a hash brown avocado style toast thing. I made some fluffy eggs on the side. I made my favorite waffle with almond butter breakfast. And I just made myself a little cafecito. So I'm just really, really excited to dig in. It looks so delicious. Yes. Mm. Now that I'm all finished with my food, time to do dishes so they don't build up. Also, this is a very neat contraption my mom got while she was here. She got it at one of the Asian stores and it just fits so perfectly here on the sink. It's like a little drying rack. Before my mom got here, we were just drying every plate individually and putting it on these towels but like that's just so much smarter also the dawn easy squeeze like i got sold on this i was watching a commercial and i was like that looks so neat 
So I actually did a deep clean yesterday. So today I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. Don't really have much to do because I already washed the dishes. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish sweeping. And after I'm done here, I'll probably just relax a little bit and I don't know, watch some YouTube or something. Maybe Netflix. I don't know. I need to I need to find a new show to watch. I feel like ever since Stranger Things, nothing just <laughs> Wow, Stranger Things really changed me. I ha I feel like nothing else is going to hit the same. I don't know. I put up bumpers. Like, I think about bowling, and I think about boundaries as, like, bumpers that keep us in the lane, that keep us aligned. Next, I'm just trying to get rid of this box. I feel like it takes up a lot more space. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into this bin here where I have a couple of other things and just get rid of this bulky box. Now I can go ahead and just break this up apart and put it in the recycle bin so it takes up less space. I've been editing here for a while and I actually wasn't really feeling like editing today, but I have to because tomorrow is Friday. So what I like to do when I'm not really feeling like being, I guess, as productive, but I need to be productive, I like to do little time slots instead of forcing myself to just sit down and finish it all at once because I feel like that's what makes me, one, feel less inspired while editing, and two, it just makes it feel more of a hassle. And so what I like to do is just split it into different little increments throughout the day. So I'll sit down and I'll edit for an hour. I'll leave clear my mind and then come back because otherwise I'm just sitting here and I'm just editing back to back and I end up just getting like brain fog and I just get annoyed and oh, tired of just staring at the screen so I like to just be gentle with myself and do it a little bit at a time and so that's what I was doing here but okay this is literally perfect I just finished doing my rough cut editing at 332 oh 333 angel number and I actually, this is why I swear by this, like doing little increments because it's kind of like a little challenge and it keeps me motivated to go into the time that like I set up for myself. And sometimes I end up like knocking it out of the ballpark and just nailing it on the time like I did today. It is 3.33, I wanted to go up until 3.30 and I ended up completing my task. So doing it in increments just always helps me stay, I guess my most creative because I'm not like overdoing it and I'm not like burning myself out by just like continuing to stare at the screen for hours. And I find that that just really helps me. So yeah, now I'm gonna go and have lunch. This week has literally felt like the longest yet fastest week ever. I swear that like it's only Thursday, but I feel like it's gone by so fast and yeah, it's only Thursday. Do you get what I mean? But my next task is to take out the trash. then I'm just going to relax and watch some Netflix or something while I'm doing laundry because I'm trying to make sure that I'm sticking to creating my good habit of putting my laundry away right away and paying attention to my laundry and not just neglecting it. I just remembered my mom wanted me to water her plants, which she got at the flea market that we went to. And oh my God, these are beautiful. I just saw them. The leaves kind of look like they have glitter on them. That is so pretty. Keeping the water pressure low so that I don't overdo it. And then I'm also just going to water the rest of the plants. You know, not that I was asked to, but might as well, right? <sighs> Okay, now I can relax. I was thinking about what I should watch. And honestly, the hardest part is always picking something because, I don't know, I always get this like weird anxiety to start a show. Like not really anxiety, just like, 
I don't know if I want to commit to a whole new show. So it's always hard for me to find something, but I was actually just looking on Netflix and I saw that Never Have I Ever has a season three out now. And I remember I really liked season one, but then I never kept up with season two. So I have two seasons to get through. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on and just relax. My clothes just finished drying and I am on time today. Guys, I'm working on these habits, I'm telling you. We're really trying to create these good habits and sticking with them so that, you know, it's not just like a one-time thing I did at once and then I let my laziness win again. But I just wanted to share something that's been on my mind recently. Basically, I was just thinking about how last year coming to California just really helped me to become more confident in myself and my goals and aspirations. I was really struggling a lot like prior to coming to California and just feeling like I wasn't good enough or that, that my dreams were never going to become a reality because they didn't look a certain way, my channel wasn't a certain way, there wasn't as much growth and basically just all of these reasons that I made up in my head as to why this would never happen. But I did a lot of just soul searching. That time in California really made me believe in myself and made me feel more passionate. It was like a reset moment and I just kind of started vibing more with my videos and I just fell more in love with filming and editing and I don't know, it was just, it was a, a transitional period. And I was just thinking about my time here in California this year, and I was trying to figure out what I've learned so far, or maybe if it benefited me in any sort of way. I've realized that this year in California, I've subconsciously and unintentionally have been healing my inner child. I mean that in the sense where, you guys know I've talked many times before about how when I was younger, one of my biggest struggles was not loving the color of my skin because it was something that I was like picked on and stuff. And so for a really long time, I mean like my whole entire life, I just really hated the color of my skin. And I wouldn't really wear certain colors because I thought they would look weird on me. I didn't like the way they looked on me, you know, especially bright colors. That's why I mainly only ever wore like dark colors and a lot of black because black was just like a safe color and I just felt better in it. And I had this realization, if you guys remember from the Friday video where we went on a hike and I was telling my sister Brenda how me having the light green Crocs made me realize that I was healing my inner child because before, little me would not pick that color. Like I would go for a safe color, a darker color that's just not as bright because light green just normally, you know, I, I wouldn't think to wear that color. And if you have been watching my thrift hauls and stuff, I've just been incorporating more color into my wardrobe. You know how in movies, they normally have like themes to describe a character. They'll have like different colors to symbolize a character's emotions, characters feeling the characters growth and stuff and I've noticed that I've had my own character development moment and it's just me slowly incorporating more color into my life which to other people it might not seem like a big change but like to me that is a huge change because little me would not wear bright colors like I would be so worried about the way that it would look on me that it would make me look darker and even like me going to the pool and not caring about tanning that is the biggest character development moment for me because i used to be afraid of the sun i would hide from the sun i would always stay in the shade i would wait until the sun set before i would go out and just hang out in the sun or i would always be thinking about oh my god i'm gonna get so burnt and now i'll go to the pool and i don't care if i get burnt i'll go to the pool and i don't care if i look gray because my skin tans so easily i i just feel free like little me just feels free. I just feel like I can become more myself, be more myself because I no longer have those things sitting in the back of my head. And if they are, I'm stronger than them and I can shut them down as soon as they come up. When I bring something up, it's not because I've 100% overcome it, right? I'm not getting rid of my insecurities. They're still always going to be there, but I am becoming stronger than my insecurities. I am becoming stronger than my mind. If you guys saw Friday's video, I bought this really cute blouse from Goodwill and you know, it is very, very cute. And I feel like, this is my insecurity, on girls who are maybe a little bit slimmer, less heavy chested, this would flow so beautifully on their body. But because I have a more plump shape and bigger boobs, I feel like it looks very a señorada on me or very grandma. Let me show you guys. 
You see? Do you see what I mean? Like, it just looks very elderly woman. But even though it looks that way on me, I think it's so cute. I want to make this work. I want to wear it. I don't care if it looks this way on me. It's just that... <sighs> My insecurities, if I let them win, they would get the best of me. But we're not going to let that stop us because I wasn't really feeling confident in it. I was just psyching myself out and I was thinking, oh, I'm not going to wear this. I'm just going to like never put this on. But no, 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 Crystal, we're not going to do that. We're not going to let those insecurities win. And we're going to wear it because we want to wear it. Okay, see, I feel like it looks better tucked in than when it's just loose like this because the way it lays makes me look wider because of this. It removes like any sort of like curves. Also because you know have a bigger chest, it just lays wider. But sometimes it just takes a little styling instead of just letting your insecurities automatically get the best of you. But maybe like a little tuck in moment can really make a huge difference whether I tuck it in like this or if I do like one sided. Another just thing that was stopping me was like my exposed arms, but I'm really trying to stop that from letting me wear tank tops because I think tank tops are so cute, but I avoid tank tops like no other, <laughs> but not anymore. Besties, we have eight minutes to get ready. If you guys remember from Friday's video, I got this new NYX contour and I tried it out but I wasn't really sure how I was feeling about it and I think it was because I didn't put enough of it on so we're going to try again. Let's speed this up because we literally only have eight minutes till my dad gets off of work and we are going to be going to Chili's because me and my sisters are treating him for his birthdays. Last time that I did my eyebrows I also used a different type of eyebrow product and I feel like it just really threw me off. I used this right here, which I feel like is good if I want to go for like a fuller eyebrow look, but I just wasn't that day. <laughs> and so it just, it, it, I wasn't vibing with it. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and try this again. So using a lot more this time. Also, I've seen people kind of like bring it up a little. So for sure, this is a cool tone bronzer because I can definitely see the shading, but it looks grayish on my skin, which I'm not a fan of. I love to have like a more warm tone look on my face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go in with my bronzer and just kind of restore some of that color. Also, I like to take my bronzer a little bit all over my face and just kind of bronze in my face. It is exactly seven. Let me show you on my phone because I don't want to show my location. Seven. You guys saw that? Seven. I nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. Hey, you know what? I do like it today. I like it. See? The other day, I think it was my eyebrows that was throwing me off. I don't know. They looked really bushy last time, so it was like really throwing me off and I was just not feeling it. Okay, I actually really like my makeup today. So, I'm just feeling it more today. Okay, and we are doing my hair super speed mode. I just kind of want to sleek it back. Okay, sometimes my hair just does whatever it wants. By the way, if you have really thick hair, get this hair clip. It's from Ulta. I forgot the brand of it. I'm gonna put it right here. You guys should definitely check it out because like I said, I have really thick hair and no hair clip really holds my hair, but this one comes through. Okay, remind me to put on lip gloss or lip balm, uh, lipstick. Okay is running out of time, but has time to get her shots. <laughs> yeah, all right. And a sweater because I'm pretty sure we'll get cold. Let's head out. Oh, okay. Thanks for reminding me. I forgot that I had this in here. You guys can't see anything, but that is okay. 